We're helping creative industries in Devon to become more sustainable in a number of different ways. Through the Green Maker Initiative, which we've begun with Make Southwest, which invites makers across the Southwest to reduce their environmental impact. We ask them to sign a pledge to say they'd like to do that, and then we support them by providing a range of different resources, networking opportunities, events. The Green Maker Initiative was set up through our Arts Council project grant, um, and we are here to support Southwest creatives um, dedicated to reducing their environmental impact within their creative practice. And then we have this amazing website um, which is full of useful resources. So makers can also share their knowledge. They can benefit in other ways as well through the materials exchange. So they can share their unwanted materials. The Green Maker Initiative logo can be put on makers' own publicity so they can tell other people about how they're reducing their environmental impact and also spread the message about why doing that is important. I'm reducing my environmental impact by using recycled silver and gold. So I'm trying to reduce the environmental impact of my work by, um, first of all, by reusing the wax. Um, I use 100% recycled cotton and then also hemp cord. I'm involved in um, all sorts of textiles, but mainly natural dyeing. I try to use as little as water as possible and I try to use as little heat as possible. To start with we are on a green energy tariff. We have an outdoor event space that's all done with solar panels. We compost all our uh, waste products and we are going into basically all our suppliers routes. Looking at things like not using the kilns as often, making sure they're fully loaded sharing with other people so that we're not wasting by putting on like more kilns than we need to. The Green Maker Initiative helps people to monitor, manage and reduce what they're doing. So they're encouraged to think about what is the provenance of materials, where have they come from, how are they produced. One of the main reasons I wanted to, to grow my own flax and produce my own linen was to try and take control of the supply chain that I was involved in. My practice is making shrouds and um, things related to funerals. So for me, it's about provenance, welfare for the sheep and welfare for the environment as well. What it's made of and what life that has and what will happen to it when it has no use anymore. I think working with byproducts and reusing materials Buying secondhand in all things across your life is the first major step everyone can make because you'll also find better quality for less. We go along to te uh, textiles fairs and we buy remnant fabrics to use to win within our making, otherwise that may well end up in landfill. So I forge buckles from shipwreck metal and handcraft leather goods. I incorporate as much used materials in my work as I possibly can. I source all my equipment second hand, if possible, and locally. And um, one of my main things is life cycle thinking. The energy that goes into mining it, transporting it, and the potential impacts of that. And minimalising the use of precious metals. For me, the Green Maker Initiative was a no-brainer, really. It was an automatic kind of thing to join and to see what, you know, what other people are doing as well. So it's connecting with other makers as well. Uh, as an Associate Professor of Design, what's really important when we talk to our students is not only what they're designing, it's about what they're making, how they're producing, and actually what their sustainable impact is. My practice is very much uh, focused about designing with sustainable living and that's supported by a, an app that gives uh, the craft makers the ability to use their own local materials and it gives the uh, consumer then an idea as well about the product's carbon footprint. I'm on the team at uh, Precious Classics Plymouth and Tavistock. We're looking to work with communities and businesses in Plymouth um, to allow them to make products then with us out of recycled plastics. By joining together in, in a movement we can share information we can teach you know 
best practice? Uh, I'm interested in the Green Maker Initiative, um, really because I feel like every industry has a um, responsibility to be environmental and the art industry is no exception. I'm interested in the Green Maker Initiative um, in terms of engaging in a, a larger movement. For us it's the networking and also being able to sort of be part of the pledge that uh, the Green Maker is making. As a group, as a collective, we have more power than um, individually, so that's why I've joined Green Maker. I'm a, ma uh, a member of the Green Maker Initiative because it's going to make me think even more about my practice. Um, I think most of it is quite sustainable at the moment, but I think I can, I can go the extra mile and, and make it even more so.